Praise the Lord and uh, welcome to this session. And uh, it's my prayer that the Holy Spirit will work within our lives and transform us. Uh, that our lives will be a blessing, whatever we be, even now and the and for generations to come. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, let's open with a word of prayer. Father God, I want to thank you for this hour. As we share your living word, I want to pray that the Holy Spirit continue to uh, touch us and continue to mold us to be what you want us to be. Lord, may this word be fulfilled in our lives and even in the lives of all who are going to hear it now and in the days to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, this message is Footprints of Faith. Footprints of Faith. And I want to read God's one in the book of uh, Hebrews. We should read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 to verse 16. But let me read uh, verse 9 and verse 10. And this is what it says. By faith he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents as did Isaac and Jacob who were heirs with him for the same promise. For he was looking forward for a city with a foundation whose architect and builder is God. Hallelujah. What footprints of faith will we lay behind? The book of Hebrews chapter 11 talks about the heroes of faith. They left footprints of faith even as they lived their work of faith in this world. Hallelujah. And every time during worship, when you enter deep into prayer, you gain spiritual strength. And it's by prayer that even this hour, may you gain spiritual strength, the strength that the Lord gives. Mm, right. Hallelujah. Amen. And at that time, that works of healing will take place, even gradual, but true healing will take place in your life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, are you in a position to ask yourself an important question? You know, when you are deeply meditating upon the word of the Lord, we are in the presence of the Lord. You are in a position to ask yourself an important question. That what is it that God considers important now? There is something that God considers very important. In fact, the most important for you to undertake now. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not yet come. We are now in our hands. What is it that God wants us to undertake now? That is what, that will lead us to leave footprints of faith or leave a, a negative history even when we leave from this world. Mm. Hallelujah. In this world, remember, we are sojourners. We are passing. Even Abram, Isaac, yes, God called them and took them to a promised land, the land of Canaan. But the Bible, we have read that they lived as strangers in a foreign country. They were looking forward for a city whose foundation and builder is God himself. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to be reminded that even in this world, we are passing. But even as we are passing by, there are marks that we are going to leave. And the next generation will look at this map. We look at the way we live. And they see, oh, this is how people need to live their work of faith. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There are good things to learn. There we are learning important things from these heroes of faith in the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. Mm. There is a ministry that God wants 
accomplish through you and me now. Don't brag of things you did. Some years back I did this, I did that, I did that. Or in the future, I will do. Terrible words are somewhere else. Do not boast about tomorrow. You don't know what a day will bring forth. So you are now. What ministry is it that God wants you to accomplish now? Where does the Lord want you to invest now? Hallelujah. Amen. What are you serving now? There are people who are deceived, they're serving the culture of darkness. Now, people study so much, they invest their energy, time to study. They get jobs, they work so hard. Sadly, only to end up serving. All to end up running errands for Satan. This is very sad. It should not happen that way. Hallelujah. Mm. But non believers and their money and use it to run errands for Satan. So many ways. Just look around you and you see, and you'll be able to confirm that. Or we better be able to confess. With the grace of God, confess. Like David said in Psalm chapter 84, verse 10. That is better one day in the court of the Lord than a thousand days elsewhere. It's better we dwell in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's better. We live doing what God wants done now. What does it mean a thousand days elsewhere? And better one day in the presence of the Lord. Giving one proper worship in one day. It will save the other six days of the week. So now is very important. May you give proper worship, proper concentration, proper meditation upon the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And in the presence of the Lord, you realize where you need to invest. Invest in the kingdom of God. Things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Our Lord say in Matthew 6, 19 to 20. Throw up your treasures in heaven, where moth do not destroy, where rust does not destroy, where thieves do not break it and steal. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I thought, as I told you, we are so generous in this world. What God calls you, what God calls me, even the good car you drive will be of no use to you. The good house you build and be living in will be of no use for you. The fat bank account you have will be of no use for you. But when we focus on things pertaining to the kingdom of God and expanding the kingdom of God, hallelujah, will shine like stars forever. And ever is the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what the word says in Daniel chapter 11, verse 3. To be quoted, it says, Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heaven, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Amen. It's by prayer that you be that kind that will shine like stars forever and ever because you are partaking in what God wants to be done now. Praise God. Amen. What He wants done now. And what is it? It is what Jesus came to accomplish and which He instructed His disciples to continue. 
and the strangers to his ambition. Even building a place, a set of strange disciples to accomplish a strangers to ambition. Hallelujah. Yeah. Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 15. They, it shall be that everyone who shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how can they call in the one they have never heard? How can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach and they say, ascend? Why is the Lord? Mm. Mark 16, from verse 15, says, go and preach to all creation. Matthew 28, from verse 18, go and make disciples of all nations. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 10 from verse 37 to 42 says, Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sex will find it. The people want to find their life, they want to protect their life, live well here on earth. And how can such shine like stars in heaven? Praise the Lord. Let us take steps of faith. And we leave footprints of faith. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We leave footprints of faith to generation, for generations and generations, even to now. The Lord will open the spiritual eyes of those who take footprints, who, who take steps of faith. The Lord will open their spiritual eyes, be able to see what nobody else sees. And he'll take them to places where nobody else goes. Those are not answers that they in. They are answers which they not only enjoy here on earth, but there's great reward in heaven. And generations and generations that will follow after us will see footprints of faith that are worth copying. And following at the role model. And the Lord will receive all the glory and honor, even through our life and the lives of the descendants to come. God wants to bless us and our descendants up to a thousand generations. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let us imprint the word of God in our lives. His desire be rooted in us. And let us see the hand of the Lord upon our lives. Now and all the days of our life, let us pray. By the everlasting Father, I pray that your word will be fulfilled upon every brother and every sister who has listened to it. Lord Jesus, may our life be held in your mighty and everlasting hand as each and every day that we live footprints of faith that generations to come will be able to learn the great way of faith life. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.